everybody, Cyanesk111 here, and welcome back to more Civilization VI New Frontier Pass as Portugal. Um, after that thing that happened in the last part, I don't exactly know what caused it, but I believe I should be good to go now. Uh, depending on what I see in the victory section, I should be... Yep. Still, 4 out of 12s converted to Confucianism. Alright. That is exactly what I will do to Yaroslavl now. But it's... But it looks like it's dropping for some reason. No, it doesn't. And I've got to give these newly created Apostles right here a promotion. Indulgence Defender, and... I'll do Debater, too. After I move these Apostles into Russia's territory, I'm going to go ahead and create some more Apostles as soon as I have the faith to do so, so I can try to maintain Confucianism's status as a dominant religion in Germany and Byzantium. And maybe move on to China, too. I don't know if I should worry about Maya's religion, which was Taoism. I don't believe Taoism has much of a role in this world anymore. So that should be... So that should make Maya safe to be convertible, right? I don't know, now that I'm thinking about it. I think that given that Maya has founded a religion, I think it's going to cause her to get on my case about it. I'm gonna go ahead and convert... Hold on. I need to move my apostle down right here. And this one right here. All this empty land. I'm... I think the time is now to get some more builders and and build upon this empty land that still has yet to be used up. Organisms okay. don't think of CO2 as a poison. Plants and organisms that make shells, coral, think of it as a building block. Oh boy. The Great Barrier Reef. And it looks like Gilgamesh has settled on Australia. I was I was expecting for one of Persia's cities to be down here. But I guess they got beaten too. I smell some competition going on between the two civilizations. Okay, so I'm still taking care to avoid that free city. And half my apostles convert the rest of Russia to Confucianism. Whatever it takes. Pretty soon, Sumeria and Persia is going to be targeted as well. Better to fight for the effect of the map. Better to fight for a quick conversion. I mean, okay, indulgence vendor. Okay, I'll have this apostle work its way towards Tiver, and I'll have this one head to Saint Petersburg, which I believe is the holy city, but I don't know or care at this point. Endless night. 
Unlocked in Atomic Era. Grants a vampire unit in your capital. Increases maximum cam vampire castle builds to four. Units within one tile of your vampire castles may now airlift to any other tile near one of your vampire castles. Perhaps that, do perhaps that should be useful whenever I have to go to a holy war with another civilization. I'm starting to doubt that happening now, but it still wouldn't hurt to, hurt to be prepared for it. Mercury industry. Plus 15% science yield in the city. Um, okay, Funchal. It's 26.2. Yeah, I'll do it. Gonna go ahead and be more scientifically endeavored than I already was. I'll send him to HN. Gain sources are active. I doubt... I don't know if it would be Persia who would steal those funds from me in an earlier turn. But in case they are, let that be a lesson to them. Suffrage comes after totalitarianism. How does that even happen? They should be mutually exclusive to one another, right? Okay. Um, let's do a research lab. And get my science going even faster this time around. Alrighty then. Why not? And Wilfred's praising me for how many people are living in my empire. That's another good thing to come out of this session. Um, I don't know if I've said this already, but if you'll look up here, it's saying 327, which is way later than my previous episode was. And this was recorded on the same day as the previous one, but... I got caught up in a lot of other things, personal matters, so I had to wait until a later time to record some more episodes of this of this game. this encampment right here to target these infantrymen. I may have to send my vampire down here in case things get too out of hand. Oh, ho, ho, baby. Colossal head. Still haven't used my Great General yet because it's an air specialty one, I think. I 
fill everything in this holy site for Fun Chao right here. Well, I could use a little extra diplomatic favor to use in the world in the world congress. There's that. Wow, I'm finding so many cities here. That's quite surprising. Мэргэн ухаан хийгээд хөч чадал чинь зангитсан гар луга нэгдмэл аж. So Kublai Khan's praising me for following his main agenda, which I don't know what it is. Oh, those two apostles are going to be dangerous. But I don't think we're on holy ground, so they shouldn't be as dangerous as normal, right? I just want to see real quick. Okay, so this Apostle can win easily against this Apostle right here, belonging to Russia. I did a number on that apostle right there. More colossal heads means more faith. Thank you so much. I'm going to go ahead and get some more apostles while I'm still thinking can only afford one right now. I'm going to go ahead and build a temple so I can get more faith per turn, per turn and... Yep, holy site it is. I don't think I've thought of that before. But here I am, thinking of it now. Okay, so... Thank you, Wilfred. So I think Gilgamesh is settling down in Africa because he has an agenda that makes him want to claim land for himself and doesn't want others to do it. Oh dear. Embassy it is, Peter. Okay, so... So he's praising my military even though he hates my guts. That's probably a sign I should spread my religion to him pretty soon. In the hierarchy of the So 
it's better to have my vampire units stationed about here in case any more of them decide to encroach on my territory. I could better move this apostle away and this one towards. Oh, I can still target him because I have enough move points left. And you know what that means? They absolutely got struck. And Confucianism has come to Tiver, apparently. Tver. I think Tver is how you say it. Pilgrim. I'll do that, thank you very much. And here I'm going to do an... <laughs> I think I'll do... I think I'll do a Gurdwara here in Koba. Okay. I think all that Russia's Apostle has to do is... I don't think I can do this, but somehow this Apostle could by chance be lured over here, closer to St. Petersburg, and I'll be able to convert it to Confucianism faster. Now that may set off, that may set off a religious emergency, but what do I care? No. I'm not doing any joint wars with anyone. Yeah. It's I who should be saying that I cannot accept this deal under any circumstances. Sorry, Kublai. You'll have to start joint wars with someone else. This... This free city is starting to make me feel afraid. Okay, so this has the promotion Pilgrim. So that means I have to get him next to a natural wonder, wherever I can find one. I need to... Okay, this looks like a good wonder that I can have my... that I can have this Apostle go towards... Okay, now you find him. Ain't no apostles of other religions getting away from mine. So I think this one might be done for. Amazing how many great places this world has, isn't it? Oh, more 
gold got stolen. Okay, I'm gonna have to get us. I'm gonna have to get another spy in my civilization to keep this from happening again. Okay, it's an enemy spy. I don't know whose it is though. I'm going to have to move this Apostle down here. I don't know if this will make him any an any easier target for this Apostle right here. I'll have to send him down here to avoid... to avoid getting captured by this Free Cities units. Why did I choose not to accept them being in my civilization again? I think this calls for some desperate measure. I think this calls for some desperate measures. Yep, it's siege time. I'm getting tired of telling you what to do, so I'm going to have you auto-explore probably for the rest of this game. Unless a Barbarian C unit approaches me. Am I right? Wow, it's 20... It's almost 23 minutes into this recording already. Okay, so this Apostle has approached this Apostle. But it's not attacking him. Oh, Kublai's angry with me. Just because we have different governments. Yeah, that is the most common reason I get for civilizations denouncing me. I just wish the game would give me something different for them to hate me. That does happen, but it doesn't happen as often as I would like. I'll wait until this turn ends, and then... Yeah, I think I'm gonna wait until I add, until the next part to attack Solodomsk and add it to my civilization. And I'll probably need to keep working my way towards... towards the rest of Peter's empire of Russia. So I can have it fully under Confucianist rule or influence. I'm just gonna get another Apostle so I can promote it in the next turn. And then, in the next turn, hopefully, I'm going to convert the rest of Russia into Confucianism. So, thanks everyone so much for watching. And I shall see you next time. Bye!